Welcome to Philip's Thoughts. Today we are going to make pizza. And to get started, we're going to go ahead and make some uh, pizza sauce. So we're going to use one large can of crushed uh, tomatoes. To that, we're going to add a smaller can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. We're going to add half a cup of uh, freshly grated red onion. I've got some some uh, garlic paste here, so I'm gonna put oh, about te two teaspoons of garlic paste there. I'll put a good tablespoon of uh, oregano leaves. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes in there and say about another half a teaspoon of uh, sweet basil leaves. Again, this is dried. I'm going to go ahead and just stir that all up. Okay, now I'm going to use an immersion blender to go ahead and uh, finally grind up some of those uh, fire roasted tomato pieces. And there we have it. There's our sauce for our pizza. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let that sit. Um, that way, you know, all those you know dried uh, herbs that we put in there, those have time to absorb some of that liquid, and you know all the flavors have a chance to uh, get through our sauce. And uh, we will just put this aside for now. This can be stored into in the refrigerator for up to oh, a week or so. Uh, if you wanted to, you could uh, take this and freeze it and it'll last a couple months frozen. But if you got a big family, you could uh, just have one big pizza night. All right, now it's time to get going with the dough of our pizza. And what I've got in here is four cups of hot water from the tap. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of sugar. That'll help get our yeast going. And I'm adding a good tablespoon of yeast to this. This is gonna make quite a bit of dough. Let's give that a quick stir. This is instant yeast, so technically we don't have to wait. If you have other yeast, you may have to wait a little while till it starts bubbling up and so forth. But for this, we don't need to. So now we're going to start adding our bread flour. And we're just going to do that one cup at a time. Go ahead and just stir it in. Okay, now I've got three cups of flour added to this, and this is about halfway point as far as flour goes. So I'm going to go ahead and add in about a tablespoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt. I'm also adding about a tablespoon of granulated garlic. We're going to go ahead and flavor our pizza dough. And we're adding a big handful of an Italian herb mix. You can just use uh, whatever you know your favorite blend is. We'll go ahead and get that mixed in and continue adding our flour. Okay, and then after a while, um, after you get it mixed up, you're going to uh, go ahead and knead it for a while, you know, around 10 minutes, maybe eight, 10 minutes. Um, now, since we've got a lot of the herbs and stuff in there, it's not gonna get that nice smooth uh, texture uh, from building up the gluten as you knead it, um, just cause, you know, those herbs are kind of getting in the way of some of that, so. Don't expect it to be as pretty as, you know, if you left the herbs out, but it adds an awful lot of flavor there now. So we've got this mixed up pretty good here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and transfer this over to another bowl. In this bowl here, I've already added a little bit of uh, olive oil to that. 
rubber band sticking. So we're gonna go ahead and toss our dough in there. Make sure it's nice and covered. And then we'll cover the top of this and we will let this sit for a couple hours. And then we'll give it a little love pat down, fold it over again, let it rise for about another hour, and then go ahead and use it to make our pizzas. As you can see, our dough's risen quite well. It's been going for about two hours. And we're just gonna give it a little love tap. Tap her down. And then we're gonna fold it back in on top of itself. Around once or twice. And then we're gonna flip that over. So we'll fold it sides down. And back on with the plastic. Or if you want to, you can cover it with a towel. I find plastic works good. And let it go for at least another hour. And you're ready to use your dough. Make pizza. For this pizza dough, I grease the pan with a little bit of Crisco. And my hands so it doesn't stick. And then just gently kind of work it and massage it out. And then using our sauce that we made earlier. I happen to like lots of sauce. I know some people like lots of cheese. I'm a sauce man. And then for toppings, lots of veggies. I'm gonna do some spinach leaves. Some red peppers. So I like lots of mushrooms on mine. And some fresh little cherry tomatoes. And some pepperoni. But anyways, that's what I like on my pizza. And then we're gonna put that into a 450 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes.